Hi, my name is Paul Copioli. I'm the president of X Robotics. I'm out of Greenville, Texas. It's a town just outside of Dallas. More specifically, I'm an engineer by trade. So because our company is rather small, I still get to do some day-to-day -day engineering stuff. So I uh, consult and do some design work for some of our newer products that are coming out uh, as a mechanical engineer. As a kid, I always knew I wanted to, um, I actually thought I always wanted to fly planes. But I was always tinkering with planes and mechanical things and how things work. I'd take stuff apart. Uh, so I went to my undergrad uh, university at the United States Air Force Academy. Turned out I liked uh, designing planes more than I liked flying them. So kind of followed that path first and then got introduced to robotics uh, while I was working in the aerospace industry and found a company in my hometown in Michigan uh, called Fanic Robotics and been volunteering for lots of robotics competitions and I met the gentlemen that own Innovation First International which owns Vex Robotics Design System and they asked me if I wanted to come down and, and join the Educational Robotics Division. I figured since I do it for free as volunteer work it'd be great to do that as my actual job. Yeah, robots are cool. Right? I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. I deal with the robots because that's what people like to play with. They've got a lot of moving parts. They do interesting things, and sometimes they break, and then you have to fix them. So it's a highly interactive, and I think that's the biggest draw to robots. Well, our primary objective when we designed this system was that a teacher with no experience in technology, in engineering, in science could take this system with the tools that we give them, learn it themselves quickly, and be able to teach their students. That We wanted to make sure that a teacher, an English teacher, for example, that really has had no experience with technology could, in a very short time, feel very confident in their ability using this system. I have an idea, so I'm thinking about an idea and then now I'm going to create it. You've learned by doing and it's innate, it's, it's, you'll remember it forever. But you also be creative, so you know, artists, you'll have prog program and project management skills because you have to time manage working with people, right? That's the thing that you don't get in school. You, you get out into the real world and you spend most of your time collaborating with others. They, they don't teach us how to do that. But when you do this project-based learning stuff, it just happens naturally because you've Everybody wants to play with the robot, so you've got to time manage and, and those sorts of things. So it's really a wide range of skill sets that you can learn. The VEX Robotics Competition is an extracurricular activity that students of all ages can compete in, from middle school all the way through university level, where they design and build their robot using the VEX, design, VEX Robotics Design System to play a game that we design new every year um, and it all culminates at our world championship in April, which this year will be at, uh, at Disney World at the ESPN Wild World of Sports. So for the competition, we have over 3,100 teams worldwide registered and paid for the uh, VEX Robotics competition for this year's 2010-2011 game we call Roundup. Uh, about 2,300 of those teams are between the United States and Canada with the lion's share residing in the United States. The rest are from about 18 countries ar around the world um, that compete locally within their own countries and then they come to the United States to participate in the World Championship.